Okay, class. It's question and answer time. Does anybody have a question? <laughs> yes. Can you explain exactly what a tag is? A tag. What a tag, uh, probably the, one of the most powerful things you can do, learn to do for performing and for writing. So, a tag is another punch after a punch. So, you, you do a setup, and then you do a punch, okay? Uh, for Father's Day, I took my father out. That would be the setup, you know. It only took seven shots, okay? Right? That's the first joke. And then, then, okay, now you want to tag that, and you can do something like, uh, well, I could always drink him under the table. So now I made shots mean something different. You know, what the fuck we were doing under the table, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I was there so my priest could molest me. <laughs> it goes right back to the father. <laughs> okay, see. So... That, you know, it, it's, it's taking your first uh, uh, setup and punch and not stop. A lot, of, a lot of beginning comedians, even a lot of, you know, B-plus level comedians, they'll get a single joke and then they'll just stop. And part of what I'm trying to train you to do is deal with it as an experience. See what it is. And then see if you can just keep adding those tags. Uh, because that's how you get an audience on a roll. Okay, and they got to be short. Got to be really, really short. All jokes got to be in their own way short. But tags really have to be real short, short, short little. You know. And it's how you get an audience on a roll because you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing each laugh up uh, each time you do it. Uh, I actually uh, use like a, a martial arts metaphor for this, which is. Um, you know, so let's say I've got a martial arts teacher, <laughs> and he's there, and I need to push him off his center. It takes a lot, of, you know, that first joke has to be a good push, if you follow, to get him off. Now, once he's off his center and he's on his back heels, then all you have to do is tap, 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 pow, and in the routine. That's the young. So that's what we're after. That's what the whole point of the tags is to not stop. And it also lends itself uh, really strongly to storytelling. So you, now a one-liner that you wrote, you can start to tag and it turns into a whole long story that you can tell along with it. Uh, and that's why it's so powerful. I knew a guy, uh, I was at the comedy store in Westwood so many years ago. And uh, this guy was a tag monster. I mean, it's just a guy get up and he'd tag everything seven, eight, nine times. It was unbelievable. Killed. I mean, it's just he was, I went and talked to him about it later and he said, oh yeah, that happened by an accident. <laughs> I don't know, what do you mean? He said, some comic once said to me randomly when I was beginning, oh, a joke isn't even worth doing unless you could tag it five, six, seven times. So I wouldn't do a routine unless I could tag it five, six, seven times. And then later I found out that wasn't true, but... By then, I was in the habit of tagging everything. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys as well, which is don't stop at that single joke. Keep pushing until, you know, and then put it with a group of people, and they'll see more and push it and push it and push it because this is the way you get those laughs per minute. LPMs, a professional level is at five per minute. I've seen people get it up to eight or nine a minute, and that's called continuous laughter. And next time, I'll talk about... Tag timing.